my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back to yet another Trader Joe's taste test. If you have missed my previous episodes of Trader Joe's taste test, please check out the playlist down below. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. So today I'm going to be tasting something that I've never tasted before. I saw them for the first time when I went to Trader Joe's last week, but apparently they've been around for at least a year or so. I just never noticed them. We are going to be tasting Trader Joe's instant ramen noodles, cup noodles. So instant ramen, instant noodles run the gamut of ones that come in cups, ones that come in packages that require some boiling, but in general, I love them all. Growing up, we would sometimes have the cup noodle version. My mom would always have these in the pantry as backup, either as an after school snack, or I fondly remember having them when the power went out. We would have an instant noodle, the cup noodle kinds with like the dehydrated peas, carrots, and corn. That's what I remember, chicken flavor. We also ate, when I say we, it's my brother and I, we we would also have Maruchan chicken flavored, the orange package of instant noodles as well. We would make mushy mini. You should check out that video if you haven't seen that video. I did it a few years ago with my brother making a childhood snack mushy mimi but we're going to be having instant ramen that was a roundabout way of saying i have eaten a lot of instant noodles in my life i don't eat them too often now they're just so packed with so much salt but they are delicious and so many good ones my kids like the japanese version of the cup noodle they like the seafood flavor and curry so we usually have a few packs of those around and also the classic maruchan chicken flavor as well just for those days when you feel like having a little bit of salt msg and soft noodles you know what i mean at any rate i'm curious to see how these are now i forget how much i paid for these i think they were a dollar 69 I will look up the price and put it up here, but these were pretty reasonably priced as a lot of things at Trader Joe's are. I adore shopping at Trader Joe's, love seeing the new things they've got going because they've always got something new, but they are great standbys as well. I've done many Trader Joe's taste tests and I will also put a link to that playlist down below. So let's check these out. So the instructions say, move the seasoning packets out of the boiling water. Let them sit for six minutes, quite a long while. I'm used to waiting three minutes, so maybe these noodles are a little bit wider. Very curious to see. So we have spicy miso, we have miso, and chicken flavor. So let's open that one first, because that's what I think of when I think of instant noodles. So inside we've got, whoa, those do not look like any instant noodles I've ever seen. It's kind of a, a ball of noodles. That is so curious. I've never seen instant noodles like that before. So we have to take that out to get to the seasoning packet. That's so unusual. Oh, but there is some oil, looks like seasoning oil, which has me gladdened because when there's more packets, I feel like there's more flavor, it's more fun. I really like garlic oil. I'm not sure if this is garlic oil, but if it is, that's a good sign, but that's unusual right off the bat. So we'll put that back and then add the powder. I have never have I ever had to take the noodles out to get to the seasoning. I don't know, that doesn't bode well to me. Hmm, smells kind of garlicky quite a bit of it. Not what I think of when I think of instant noodles, chicken flavor, but it smells very savory, good amount of it. And we'll put the, what does it say about the oil? Seasoning and oil packets into a cup. Okay, so it says to put the oil in there too. All right, so put the oil in there. Sometimes the liquids can go at the end. Ooh, that's sesame oil, not garlic oil. Okay, now we will fill it to, there's a line, and we'll fill it to the line. I'm going to wait less than six minutes. These noodles look pretty thin, and I usually like my noodles on the bouncier side. So fill that up and put a pair of chopsticks on top of it. Next, let's do the green one, which is the miso. This too has an unusual tangle of noodles that are kind of flowing around. 
and the two packets. Mm. This one smells nuttier. Put the powder in first that time and put the noodles in there. A little bit different. And I'm curious to see if this is sesame oil again. I can't tell. Is it sesame oil? Okay, let me squeeze it all out and then sniff it. That one just smells like, doesn't smell like anything. Curious. All right, again, hot water. Hmm, so far, same style of noodle. That didn't smell like sesame oil. Put a little spoon on that one. And the last one, which says it's vegan, is the spicy miso in the red cup. Same situation. Seasoning. This one has a kind of orange tinge to it. Hmm. Definitely smell the spice and kind of a savory smell to it. More oil. That one smells like sesame oil. All right. And then hot water. I have to say the serving size on these looks pretty small. What's it say? 50 grams, 1.76 ounces. And we'll let that sit. All righty, my lovelies. I will come back in four minutes or so and we'll give these a taste. Okay. Hope they taste better than they kind of seem. I don't know. Taking out the noodles seems unusual, right? Part of the joy I feel like is seeing those noodles packed into the shape of the cup. Something about that puck, you know what I mean? Not like a random knot of dried noodles, but like a puck. These things that I, I take for granted from all these years of eating instant noodles. All right, I'll be back. All right, my lovelies, it's been a few minutes and now we're gonna taste our Trader Joe's instant ramen noodles. So let's try them in the order in which we made them. We started with chicken. Chicken, you're up. All right. So here we are. Hmm. These noodles look a little bit different than the noodles I'm used to when it comes to instant ramen. Usually they have more of a little zigzaggy crinkle with them. A little softer kind of noodle scrunch. You know what I mean? A little looser. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pour them into a bowl. That's why I took these bowls out so you can see what they actually look like and how much is in them. These bowls are a little small, but I think I'll actually hold everything. Looks like there's little green flecks in it, maybe some green onion, chives, and little bits of something. Look at that. They almost look like little peanut bits. Bits of peanut? What is that? Let's taste that. Oh, it's garlic. Okay, that's good. Like that. Those are garlic pieces done in the in there. All right, so far I approve. Now this is the chicken flavor instant noodle. Alrighty, let's give this a taste. Itadakimasu. Hmm. Mm. First off, I don't care for the noodles at all. They're kind of doughy inside. They don't have a nice bounce to them and they're not like ramen noodles at all. Mm. They taste very starchy and kind of parboiled. There's no chew to them. Now, when it comes to instant noodles, there are all kinds of instant noodles. Now, if you have a cup noodle, typically they are very softly textured. They just need to rehydrate in hot water like these. So those noodles are really thin and they have a kind of a mushy or softer texture, in my opinion, as opposed to a Samyang noodle, which you boil in a pot. Those have a nice bounce to them and the noodles are designed so that they can withstand all that bubbling and boiling. I feel like this noodle is not designed for this kind of three minute soak. Uh, they don't, they taste kind of raw. Mm. They feel kind of raw. They're just kind of doughy and mm, not very interesting in terms of a texture. The soup, It's salty enough. 
and it's garlicky. But in my opinion, it should be really salty and have a nice umami, like, mmm-ness that happens when I taste it. And that's not really happening here. In terms of flavor, it tastes garlicky and a little chicken soupy, but it's not chicken soup in the sense of the Maruchan style chicken soup where it has a little bit of celery in it. This is more like a chicken stock that you would get in a box maybe. Uh, I don't really care for it. And mostly it's because I don't care for the texture of the noodles. So these other ones I believe have the same style of noodles. So I'm not sure how this is going to go here, friends, but we will try them. So chicken flavor, garlic. I like the garlic idea, but not very flavorful. Next, let's try the miso. And this one is vegan, I just noticed. So let's see how that one is. Clear with the oil floating on top. So we'll give that a mix. Quite hot. And we'll put the noodles in. Ooh, some of the soup base is not mixed in. So the soup base is still on there. So I'm gonna really stir this in. Okay, so now the soup is turning, ow, a brown color. I just burnt myself. Okay, so we'll pour that on top. Oh, there looks like there's some seaweed and definitely some soup base in there at the bottom. So a little bit of wakame, just a tiny little bit right there. Not much. Okay, miso ramen. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mm-mm. Whoa, that one's just not, that's not good at all. So again, same kind of starchy, doughy, raw flour tasting noodle. And the broth is not very tasty. It's miso, so it's got a little bit of that kind of funky fermented flavor in it, almost alcoholic, but it's not salty or umami enough. And the seasoning just seems off. When I think of miso soup, I think of dashi, which is the kind of seaweed broth that you make as the base of the miso soup. And I'm not really tasting any of that seaweed, oceany, briny flavor at all. And, and it almost tastes more tangy and vinegared than miso and And the noodles are just not good. Uh, yeah, it's just, this one's not good at all. Wow. Well, let's hope the spicy miso is better. This too is also vegan. This one has a kind of red orange color to it. And let's get the noodles out first. Same noodles and stir this up because the soup base is difficult to mix in. So there's quite a, a lot of that powder in there, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to be all that flavorful. So this one, has the most color. Ooh, there's the soup base in the corner. Make sure you stir them really well. There we go. Hmm, it smells a little spicy, I guess. Not particularly aromatic. When I have instant noodles, I love putting my face over the bowl and having my glasses fog up and just the anticipation of eating my noodles. I'm not really feeling it with these. Of course, these are not as hot because we made them with boiling water and they've allowed then we've allowed them to sit, so they're not that hot. So I'm not getting that, but I'm also not getting all those aromas either. Where did I put my spoon? Okay, let's use the same spoon. Alrighty, here are the noodles. I like to take a spoon and grab some of the broth and put the noodles in the broth and have one bite together. Alrighty, let's try it. Itadakimasu. Mmm, no. No. Again, the noodles are the same. They're kind of starchy and doughy. The broth is confused. Uh, there's some spice to it. It's not too spicy, uh, but it's not salty enough. It's not umami enough. I'm guessing there's no MSG in this. I'm just guessing. But uh, this one, doesn't have much seasoning to it either. It's spicy, it's bitter. It's got some of that miso maybe going into it, but it's not really garlicky or aggressive in any kind of flavor 
profile. Of the three, this one had the most flavor, the chicken flavor with the garlic. I believe there's only three flavors. There's only three that I could find. And this one had the most flavor, but it was not good by any means. Uh, I think the green one, the miso one was the worst. Uh, spicy comes a close second. This one is pretty terrible. I feel like you can make something better on your own just with kimchi and some instant noodles uh, rather than, than this. Alrighty, my lovelies, that was disappointing. I have to say one of the reasons why I love Trader Joe's so much is not only are things reasonably priced, but the quality of the products are really good. But that's not the case in this. Don't like these at all and would not buy them again. But I did buy something else that I wanted to try and maybe that will save this whole experience. So I also picked up this. This was an impulse buy. I have never seen this before, but it is Trader Joe's own Danish princess pastry. Now they have had a Danish Kringle, which is not a proprietary Trader Joe's brand. It comes from Racine, Wisconsin. It is just so good. It's a big, flat, round pastry, oval pastry, really. And I'm not sure if this is their own take on it. I hope they still continue to carry the Kringle because it's so delicious. It's great when you have company. But I was just curious about this, so I purchased it. And this is the Danish pastry, princess pastry, classic Danish pastry dough with a custard style filling. Sounds great. All right. Wow. Look at that. That could feed a good number of people. And it just got a nice little channel, little river of custard down the middle. All right. Let's give this a cut. That's what it looks like inside the bottom. All righty, let's give this a taste. You too, Lucky Mouse. Mm hmm. Pretty good. It tastes a lot like a store bought Bear Claw, like a Sven Hards brand that you can buy at the supermarket. Very similar to that. The pastry is a little fluffier, it's sweet. Mm hmm. And airy, but not too sweet. The middle part is my favorite, where the custard is. Mm -hmm. The edges, I feel like it need a little bit more of the filling. They taste a little bit plain on their own. But the ultimate question is, and the reason why I bought this, is this better than the Racine Wisconsin Kringle? It is not. It is not better. I like the presentation, but it is not better. That other one is better. I had the almond one of that one, fantastic. And I had just the classic one, fantastic. And I think different times of the year, they have other special flavored ones. So stinking good. So this isn't bad. If you want a little Danish to serve to your company, then this is okay. But if they've got the Kringle, go for that instead. All right, my lovelies, there you have it. My little Trader Joe's taste test. Let me know in the comments what your Trader Joe's standbys are or things that I should try that I don't know about. All right, my lovelies, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Oh my gosh. I just want to pick up this whole thing. Uh, I don't know. Why? Because now my hands are greasy. All right, chickens. What are you going to think about these Trader Joe's noodles? I don't think you're going to be impressed.